is I was going to sketch this out for a lunch time sketch but it's uh, this it's not a llama this alpaca is a little too involved for sketching at lunch so I decided to sketch them all out and use my chalks to beautify him and bring him to life so here we go I hope that everyone is having a fab day and that you enjoy this little excursion I'm about to go on. I'm gonna color him in with all my chalks. Um, got some blending stumps. I sketched him with my pencil and did a lot of erasing because, you know, perspective. And I still don't think it's quite right, but we're gonna wing it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna make it happen. This clip is making the page. There we go. There we go. I thought the clip would be effective, but it is not. Let's get his eye in here. I'm using, um, this is a Conti crayon in black. I have a whole set of the, the different browns and grays and blacks and white in Conti. And then I have, oh, I have so many pastels, y'all. So many. I love my pastels. I'm actually going to do a um, real-time tutorial on uh, using pastels drawing a cat tonight and that should be posted tomorrow so y'all can slide on over to my YouTube channel if you would care to enjoy that little adventure I'm gonna go on let's see all right we've only got a limited amount of time to get this guy all like in here so Conti's are kind of hard uh, as far as a pastel is concerned. They, uh, I mean, you can get some really nice effects with them, but they're not uh, as chalky as a traditional um, pastel is. You can get some pretty intricate, delicate lines with, with these guys. And some good detail. So, so um, what drew me to this alpaca was how just crazy he looks, right? He looks like I just crawled out of bed and uh, don't talk to me. Where's the coffee? Why are you talking to me? And not handing me coffee? Because that's how I feel in the morning. No talking. Just, just please let me have a cup of coffee and start my, my blood flowing a little bit before we get into a deep conversation about anything at all. There. Now the most uh, detailed parts of this for me for using um, pastels are the eye and the, the nose muzzle area and possibly the ear. The ear has some pink in it which is beautiful in the picture but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm going to just stick with uh, these colors and uh, see how he turns out. He's got some gorgeous hairs up his eye. Too. There we go. Like that. Like so. And then this whole area. I'm just going to get in the color and then I'm going to come in and quickly do some um, blending with my blending stumps in the areas where I think it needs it. And then I'm probably, because this is in my sketchbook, I'm probably going to spray this with fixative. A lot of people don't like fixative because it makes your piece, um, it tends to darken the color that you're using. But I don't, I really don't mind that. I think it lends a little bit of richness to your piece. Uh, if you don't want your colors darkened, if you like how they are truly, then I wouldn't recommend using fixative if you don't want, if you don't have to like if you can store your piece it's not in a sketchbook or anything and you can store it flat with some glassine or um, let's see this is where shadow shadow and then this guy is shadowed right here I'm 
tracing paper. Uh, I usually, um, for my individual pieces in charcoal or pastel or oil pastel or whatever, I will put uh, tracing paper over the top and tape it down with um, uh, this stuff. <laughs> my, main, my mind went blank. Washi tape. <laughs> tape it onto the edge of the paper with washi tape and stack them flat on a, um, on a shelf in my space over there. Over there, like you guys know where over there is. That's the studios in that direction. <laughs> I might break this one up into a couple of um, HD videos if my time runs out because I currently can only do 15 minute videos. On Instagram TV due to my status which is totally fine I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and there's this little nose and like he's smiling a bit, which I also liked, because I'm a little silly. I mean, not necessarily first thing in the morning, but my natural way is uh, upbeat, happy, somewhat silly personality, which could grate on some people, but overall people... <laughs> I think and I hope that people like me <laughs> as I am. No change is necessary. Right, right? And that one of the nicest things people can say to you. I like that person. No change is required. And these are just teeth. These. This this little weird triangle lace situation is his teeth. Got some uh, crazy black whiskers flowing off that chin of his. Like he slept with his his paw, paws, hoofs, paws, whatever they are, and all tangled up in his face. Like I do, I sleep with my my hands tucked in my hair, like in my bang area. So when I wake up in the morning, sometimes things things look a little scary. That uh, gorgeous TV personality. They they all wake up um, uh, <laughs> looking perfect, just perfect. Right, we're gonna stop with. Oops, oops, oops. Put that over there. I think I think we're gonna go dive in with this color. Um, just kind of spooch it around. block this in and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and use my blenders to get this is pretty dark over here but there's a little bit of color in there and there's some color here and here and here like that and then this of course is his, is his little face chalks in a long time. There. Alright, like that. Um, okay, I'll do that. And then this. Swipe these 
down because his hair kind of flows into his eyes. I mean, and it's all crazy up here. There's all kinds of craziness happening. See the crumble? These, I don't know actually where I got these these colors. I just saw them in my, my drawer and I was like, oh dear. Oh dear, I don't remember where those came from, why I have them. Um, let's see. That, but, but, oh, not dark enough. You? Hmm. Nah. Nah. There we go. There we go. And then there's a little bit of darkness here. of darkness to it, but not a lot. And then we can kind of get some of this crazy curly cute crap going on up here. Like so. guys down. Ooh. Uh -oh. I think that might have rolled almost off the table. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. Do what I say, right? Classic. After you're done blending, you can always go in with um, sharp edges of your your stuff and um, blend. Maybe, maybe. alone because I like the pencil line and the um, the colors all together like that. I think it looks good. pretty stark white against all of his amazingness.
quite a bit lighter, and then this bit is pretty light. Light there, but not that light. There we go. Very light right here. Super light feather touch. of him I think is going to be pretty like like this loose and free and slightly crazy because we can why. I don't know much about alpacas.
this color. This it goes from this light face right here, this kind of triangle zone, and then a lot of the hair around him, like his mane, if you will. I'm not sure. He's not a lion. <laughs> this much I know. But all of this crazy hair he's got flitting around his face. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't look nice, but it looks more like I want it to. There. And there. Just kind of lens a little bit right there. Oh, I need that other color I was using to roll a little bit there. Sorry about my sleeve. Like halfway through his mane, he's got stuff pointing out straight through here, and it looks all crazy, like so. And then this is all pretty directional. If I had tried to draw this on my lunch break and color it in on my lunch break, this would not have worked out very well. This is back up here. Like, always roughly back for coming up like that. He's a very wildly hairy thing, and just, yeah, it's just everywhere, you guys. Oh, he almost fell down. I'm sorry. I got excited. <laughs> Just gonna block in some of his lighter tones, but only 
like that. Like, there we go. Dark through here. Put some darkness in here as well, just not as much. I'm really digging his wild, crazy. His wild and crazy ways. Who doesn't like a guy with wild and crazy ways, right? I'm pretty sure this is a dude out there. The dude. <laughs> What's the reference? a lot of pink in his ear, like even on this ridge right here, like this is the upper ridge of his ear right here. And it's kind of gray and pink, it's really pretty. But I don't have pink on the table, so I'm just gonna, just gonna pretend. as it's getting. Yes? Are you done? No, oh, I could fuss with this forever. Alrighty, so I don't think I can zoom out. Nope. I lift you up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Can you see him? There he is. He's gorgeous. Well, I mean, <laughs> he's kind of gorgeous. Alright, thank you for indulging me. I hope you enjoy him, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.